Animal Crossing. We all know it and its therapeutic effects, and whether you're using it medicinally or recreationally, there's an undeniable soothing quality about it. But I'm not here to talk about that today. No. I'm here to talk about the language. I for one love the sound that the villagers make. There's something so relaxing about starting a new game and hearing that familiar mumbling as you're welcomed into your new town by train. While there's plenty of videos showing you how the language works in these games, there aren't many showing you how to do it. In order to pull this off, you have to understand how the system used in Animal Crossing works. If we take the audio of a character talking like this, when we slow it down and lower the pitch, you get this. From this, you can start to make out some sounds that are familiar to the English language. It sounds like they are saying each letter in the sentence, but not the name of the letter, A, B, C, D. From what I can tell, it seems more like the sounds those letters make. A, B, K, D. These are the building blocks of how it's made. So I opened up Logic Pro and started recording some sounds. A, B, K, D, E, F, G. It doesn't sound very animal-y yet, but that's just because it hasn't been modified. I exported each of these sounds as an individual file, one for each letter of the alphabet, and then one for TH and SH, then two spaces of just silence, one between letters, and one for between sentences. Then I got to work coding the logic for this. The code is actually fairly simple. For a given sentence, all you have to do is just loop through each letter, play the sound file for it, and you get something like this. Close, but not quite there. All you have to do now is just play back the audio at two times speed. And suddenly, it sounds pretty good. There's still a few more components needed to bring this all together though. First, I added some randomness to the pitch of each individual letter. This just keeps it from sounding too flat or monotone. Then, I decided to add a little more depth to it. If a sentence ends in a question mark, I have the last little bit of it pitched up. Lastly, I added a couple different pitch levels for different voices. And here's what I got. The result is a very simple program that can be used for videos, video games, pretty much any kind of project where you need to display some text and don't just want awkward silence. I think it turned out pretty well. I left a link in the description for the source files if you want to use this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.